In today's video, we're going to be bringing you guys something very special, something very entertaining to me, something that I thought was at most the grossest thing I've ever seen on YouTube, but we hope you guys do enjoy. Let's go ahead and get right into this beautiful, luxurious video. What's up, everybody? I haven't done a video like this in a while. I'm going to eat over one and a half years old chicken. I made it in winter 2018. One and a half year old chicken that this guy is keeping in a jar that we can clearly see that he, I don't know how, like you said, it's been in there for one year. That is, it's corn fed. Ah, uh, it's corn fed. No, 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 it's okay. It's just cause it's corn fed. It was fed a vegetarian diet. So it's gonna be all right. Sorry to let it sit and ferment in a jar for a little bit. Smells just the same as a few months ago. You can tell after he took that whiff, he was probably like, he literally was like, shit, how am I gonna get through this video? His nose probably stinged right after smelling that. I haven't aired it in two months now. All right, we'll be fun. In it. <sighs> yep. Mm, okay. This is the fat. So he just took a bite out of it and it is by far like you can tell that he's probably low-key struggling to eat this thing i'm more than sure that it tastes like rotten like ass like i i can't imagine how long you know it's been sitting there for so long how disgusting and vile that little jar is going to be tasting how that chicken i don't know how this guy so apparently this guy thinks that it's okay or it is healthy to eat rotten meat <laughs> One of the reasons I'm making this video is because there's a huge misunderstanding about chicken. People believe that you can eat some meat raw, but chicken? Never. Why? It's just a bird, like any bird. Uh, let's not to mention that you could probably get food poisoning from eating a chicken raw as well. Salmonella. But I mean, go crazy, bro. Go crazy! Ah, go stupid! Ah, go crazy! There's nothing special about it. The thing is that most chicken in most places are treated pretty bad they get shit food and of course then they can get poisoned if they get 10 vaccines which is actually common in the chicken industry so apparently this guy thinks that since the chickens are being fed like hormones and stuff like that that's why you get food poisoning because that the chicken is poisoned itself but I guess he thinks that he's like a vulture or something that he has the anatomy of a vulture he could eat rotten meat and he's gonna be perfectly fine I mean, you can clearly see this guy probably went to Whole Foods before. Look at by the looks of his ponytail. Um, but he probably was not, he wasn't feeling that vegan diet. So he was probably like, I'm going to have to go rotten now. Absolutely. Yeah, you can get food poisoning from that. But it's not salmonella or whatever. It is literally food poisoning. That's what's called poisoning. It's from toxins. That's it. It's the same reason you can get food poisoning from raw eggs if they come from poison chicken. This is good chicken. I'm not gonna get food poisoning from it. It's simply old, rotten, fermented. It's high meat. It makes you feel good. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! I can see how maybe that might be the case if he like cured the meat or maybe let it soak in like vinegar or something. But this guy literally just let it sit in a in a somewhat airtight jar thinking that he's not going to get sick from eating this rotten meat. I heard that in one of his previous videos, he had eaten some bone marrow and he nearly died. <laughs> he nearly, okay, it's not funny, but he nearly died from eating this bone marrow. So, I mean, this chicken, probably after recording this video, I'm more than sure he was feeling that shit in his stomach. Very strong taste. That's spicy chicken, quite similar to the one-year-old meat that I was eating. How does, how does the chicken become spicy from leaving it inside of a jar? You know, he's hey, you ain't tasting that spice, bro. You're tasting that mold, that rotten flesh. Well, that's it. Well, it's pretty damn strong. I also ate... You can tell he's regretting it right now. The fact that he's not even wanting to eat anymore. He literally took like three bites and he's like, oh, this is too strong. 
and now he's putting the lid back on. He's he's done with this video. Three year old chicken in my video when I was in Florida. So this is not even that old for me. It was quite different. I'm gonna link it in the description if you guys haven't seen it yet. A bunch of us ate it with some funny reactions. <laughs> It was really strong. It wasn't aired for a while. This is definitely getting to that level. The spiciness. <coughs> Sadly, our boy Severidge died one week later from his idiotic act of eating rotten chicken flesh that was in the jar for one year. He thought he was invincible, that he was a vulture, and now may he rest in peace. Just kidding, he's still alive, but um, <laughs> please guys, do not go and eat rotten chicken flesh. Do not believe this crazy guy. Obviously, he may have, I don't know what the hell he's doing, but that is not a good idea. You know, if, if you're a vulture, if you're like a carnivore, you're a damn lion, then okay, go crazy. But if, eating rotten chicken flesh, you're just asking to get some type of illness, some type of disease. You're going to get salmonella, probably something worse that's going to kill your ass. So I wouldn't recommend doing this. Hope you guys did enjoy our first face cam video. Overall, I've been Handsome Merc, and we shall see you pimps later.